Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I will going to talk to you about what is Q&A button that you can create with the help of pre-configured button within the Power BI and how to use it because using it is a really tricky but once you get a hang of it, you will find it very very useful because it creates all of the uh, dynamic charts and calculations that we need uh, most of the time just to satisfy our hunger from the analysis. So Q&A button is something what we are going to see. And before I move ahead, uh, just a quick information that uh, this information, this spreadsheet is present within the uh, description. So you can you can use this if you want to search any of my previously created Power BI video, which I have put it here along with their YouTube link. Apart from this, if you want to look at all of my videos, which I have posted related to the ClickSense, Tableau, ClickView, Power BI, Python and all, you can come here, search here and get whatever you need from this data, Google Data Studio report. All right, I'll just close this. So how we can create Q&A button? Let's go ahead and see this. So here we are within the Power BI. And if you go into the buttons, what you have is the Q&A. Once we are in the Q&A button, we can expand a little bit and make it similar to this size. And once we have this, if I just reduce this, once we have this, uh, we can hold down the command key. I mean, that's all the configuration you need to do for, for creating the Q&A button. Just come here, click on Q&A and you are done. Just adjust and make it whatever, uh, you know, coloring or fill that you want. But important point is how to use this. So hold down the command key and click over here. Once you click, what it will show you is various queries like top states by revenue. What is the TOT opportunity, total opportunity, top regions, or maybe the top opportunities is a top segment by average revenue. So you can click any of this suggestion, for example, top segment by average revenue. If I just click, it will show this, right? and once you remove this you again come back so removing it just select all and press delete what is the average revenue by segment again you select this and remove top states by revenue you select this and you get the top states by revenue so this is one of for one of those scenarios where you want to just explore the data after you have let's say uploaded it into the Power BI service or in Power BI desktop and want to know, okay, how does really my data looks like you want to explore it just to do a quick sanity check or, you know, just to validate with whether information is coming fine or not. Apart from this, if you want to have your own queries, for example, I want to know top 10, do we have like customer? No, we have opportunities, top 10 opportunity. So we have top 10 opportunities and then we can say buy whatever we want like revenue right we will select this and here we have the top 10 opportunity if we want top maybe 15 we will just come here and say top 15 and uh, what it will show you is top 15 opportunities so this this is basically the NLP uh, analytics which is happening here, uh, which helps you to to achieve the output when you enter a normal English statement like this. So you need to just make sure that uh, you are using the fields which uh, which are there in the data set with the same name. Otherwise, it won't show you like, for example, I was trying to do top 10 customers. Since we don't have customers, it is not showing us but if we uh, say av average deal size average deal opportunity size here it is giving us suggestion so if we click it over here it will say three count of opportunity as a size which does not make a whole lot of sense and it is showing you that average opportunity size if you will click here three does not make a whole lot of sense so Sometimes you will find it little difficult, but for scenarios like uh, uh, revenue by and it shows the different by opportunity size, 
you will find that how the opportunity size is a small opportunity medium and large so this is probably the opportunity size that's why we were getting a count of three and you will see in large obviously the opportunity size will be high so that's very quickly i wanted to show you um the the q a box which is available here you have all the suggestions which you know is pre-built by uh, the q a button or the nlp programming that has happened in the power bi backend what you can do you know my suggestion is that first you explore each of these one and understand how it is asking the query for example what is the third revenue by partner driven average opportunity day for each state now here average opportunity day for each state you can maybe change week or maybe change month and for each state you can say maybe segment for example segment is another key so having a good idea of what are all the fields is something going to be a, going a long way and how to ask a question is something you know over a period of time will make you an expert so that you don't have to do or create all the analysis but for those ad hoc scenarios which you want to give it to your end user you can just have this button and the field information is present over here so for example what is present in opportunity maybe something you want to look at by partner maybe something you want to look at by product all of this you need to be aware to ask it within the nlp button so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can create this nlp button and i'll meet you in the next video